Hey there! Today we're going to be checking out my Horizon Mark II model. Uh, so this is kind of my version of a Super Strat. Uh, so we've got, on this particular guitar, we've got the triple single coil uh, pickup configuration with the one volume and two tones. Uh, but I also do do this model in other pickup configurations, like Twin Humbucker or anything else you can think of really. Uh, but for this particular one, we've got the old traditional triple single coils. Uh, so this guitar is a bit different in that it's completely chambered, uh, completely hollow. And it's just got an area which around here where the bridge sits on and around here where the neck is which is solid everything else is hollow and it's about six minutes six seven millimeters on the top six seven millimeters on the back so most of it's hollow and because of that it's really lightweight and it's also quite loud acoustically uh, much louder than a traditional electric would be you can't really hear through the camera but it's quite loud um so it makes a very resonant and light guitar uh, so, also another interesting feature of this particular guitar is we've got UK only native woods. Uh, so on the top here we've got London Plain, and on the back we have English Maple, and on the neck here we've got a three piece of oak. Uh, oak actually makes a very good neck material, but it's not often used. Uh, another wood which isn't often used is the fretboard. Uh, this is Laburnum, uh, so this is a native UK wood, and it's kind of sort of a similar colour to rosewood, a bit paler and it's a similar density as well. So it's kind of an English or UK alternative to rosewood. Um, so I really like using this. Uh, but I'm gonna show you some of the woods and the features in a bit better detail now, close up. And then at the end, I've asked my friend Ian to record a track on this guitar uh, so you can hear what it sounds like. So for the sound hole on this guitar, we've gone for a bit of a different shape. And this is called the quatrefoil. Uh, so this is a shape you'll often find on kind of Gothic architecture, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, so you'll see it on cathedrals and churches and they used that shape a lot on their tracery type designs and I really liked it uh, so I thought I'd incorporate it onto this guitar uh, for something a bit different to the traditional F-hole type shape and you can see in there it's all black that's because the whole guitar was painted in shielding paint before the top was glued down uh, to reduce any buzz or hum and you can see the lovely London Plain top here uh, this is also known as lacewood for obvious reasons because it's got this kind of lacy figure to it and we've got the go-to strap bridge and then we've got the bare knuckle pickups here and this is their true grit variant so you've got the old guard as their vintage one then the true grit which these are and at the end you've got the brute force which is their kind of extreme version and we've got them wired uh, cts pots and a five-way switch and these are all in the traditional strap locations both the pickups and the controls and the jack. And let's have a closer look at the laburnum fretboard. So as I mentioned, it's a similar sort of colour to rosewood. It's a little bit paler, but actually darkens as it gets older. So this has already darkened a bit since it was built. Uh, but it's a similar sort of density to rosewood as well, and similar to work with, so it makes a great alternative. And you can see we've got this black accent, which runs all the way through the guitar. So we've got it under the fretboard here. And it runs into the body as well, and all the top here. And moving over to the back, so this is the English maple back. Uh, this is this wood's got a lot of different names. Uh, I like to call it English maple because it is actually a true maple, but the most common name for it over here in the UK is actually sycamore. But in the US, sycamore is a completely different wood, um, so it gets a bit confusing. But this is the wood they used to use on all the old-fashioned violins and cellos back in the old days, because uh, they believed it had superior tone and it would also could also look very attractive, just like this piece does. And you can see it's got some nice flame figure going through here. Uh, they would call this fiddleback figure because they would use it on the back of the violins. Uh, it's a wood I use a lot of. Uh, it's not quite half as heavy as hard maple, for example. And it's really nice to work with as well. So it's one of my favorites. And you can see we've got a black accent again in the neck joint. And then we've got the black veneers running through the neck. So it kind of ties everything together. We've got that theme, with the black accents running through. And the oak neck with this cool courtesan figure. Looks really nice as well. And this neck is actually reinforced with uh, titanium as well. So it's not going anywhere. And then we've got the go-to machine heads up at this end. And my take on the kind of strapped head headstock, more of a modern version of it. So it's a little bit slimmer and keeps the weight down on the headstock end. So now we're going to hear how this guitar sounds. So we're going to send it over to Ian.
make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this and please like the video as well if you've enjoyed it. I uh, hope to see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.